Well, the indoor season, uh, it's, a, it's a different sport. Indoor track is a different sport, so the events, uh, there are a lot of events that are different. Uh, some of the sprints are shorter. Um, the track itself is short, so in that respect, it, it's a very different sport, indoor track to outdoor, but it does allow us to see how the athletes have progressed, um, see how they've improved, and, and see where they'll be going into the outdoor season. I think our indoor season went really well. Um, the boys did extremely well. We had some really outstanding performances, um, like by Gigi in the 800 meters. Um, the girls team did fairly well, and I think we're just looking for an improvement in the outdoor season, and the indoor season's a great way to prepare for what most of us consider our best seasons outdoor. The indoor season went really well. We had a lot of young guys compete very well, and older guys compete even better than they have in previous years. So that momentum can carry us through the outdoor season and get us off to a really good start. It means a lot to host the NEC championships. Um, and a lot of schools like coming to Mount St. Mary's. Our, our track is the fastest in the conference, um, which means for great performances, we have great runways, and uh, generally we have a good layout of facility. Um, which allows for this big championships to be at Mount St. Mary's and then um, being the furthest school south in the conference uh, we have the best guarantee of good weather which also leads to good performances and it's important even in a conference championship to have good performances because athletes can still qualify for the postseason out of the conference. There's no automatic qualification so they have to have the opportunity to perform really well, get good times, good performances, uh, good distances. Well, obviously we're hoping that they'll go back to an NCAA championships. Um, both are showing that they're going to have a better outdoor season than they did last year, which is extremely exciting. Um, and both, I think, have hit the, the gold collegiate standard of performance. Tom exceeded 7,500 points in the decathlon last year. And, was ranked uh, 13th in the nation, ended up an honorable mention All-American. And uh, Gigi made the preliminary round of the NCAAs last year. Um, he just got under the gold standard in the 800 by breaking one minute 50 seconds. Um, and that puts him very, pretty highly ranked uh, in our preliminary round region. Um, we're hoping that he'll be able to progress out of the prelim and into the NCAA championship finals. Um, and for Tom to move up his All-America status and I think both are very capable of doing so. Um, I think our team goals are to just do really well in the conference, um, to hit those personal records and to improve individually but then together as to mesh as a team and just come together. Well, we want to do really well in the conference. We have a lot of guys with like big potential, not just scoring potential but winning potential. And I think that's important for especially like a small team like us. We don't really have the ability to get a lot of guys in the just scoring positions, but we can get a lot of guys in winning positions. Well, we saw some very good things indoors. Uh, we had two school records. We had three All East participants. Um, we had great performances in the NEC championships. Um, so, uh, and we don't try and peak them completely for the indoor season. We do have to be mindful of the outdoor season. So we do work them through the indoors in the hope that they're going to get better. So. All things being equal, I think we have a, a great outdoor season ahead of us with uh, people still improving. Um, there's some athletes on the team that really haven't had the chance to showcase their ability yet. Um, the javelin throwers are, are itching to go, uh, hammer throwers are itching to go, and um, our longer distance runners, uh, our 10K runners, haven't been able to race yet. So um, we're looking forward to seeing them uh, actually compete for the team as well, and I do feel that we are a better outdoor team than indoor because we have some good long throwers and some good longer distance runners that can now contribute to the team total in the NEC championships. I think our team is really unique. I mean, we have one of the largest teams um, here at the Mount and uh, we just actually had a team builder last night um, where we were all able to come together even though on the track we do tons of different events from throws to jumps to long distance and short distance. Um, we have a lot of great personalities that come together and just feed off each other and that enthusiasm from those team builders hopefully will show through in our outdoor season. Team chemistry is great, especially with the new people coming in, it's usually hard to get them acclimated to the team, but this year has gone especially well, I think, with the team builders and even just at practice, everybody's just really close. There's really nothing as far as, you know, arguments or bad chemistry going on, so everybody seems to be cooperating well. Yeah, we have a great competitive schedule. We try and um, we try and go to events that uh, 
allow for us to compete really well or in a great location. Um, there are certain facilities that are better to perform on than others and we try and pick those facilities that are, are good to perform on for our team members. So uh, we had to Wake Forest um, tomorrow for the Wake Forest Open. It's a two-day meet with about 60 teams, um, which is exciting for the team. They haven't been outdoors yet, so to go down to Wake Forest and, and be in North Carolina in the good weather is always a highlight for them. Um, the Colonial Relays is a, is a big invitational. They have 100 teams, um, all very competitive. It's a two-day meet down at the College of William and Mary. Um, and actually close to home, uh, George Mason has a very competitive spring invitational uh, that we're fortunate enough to be invited to um, that'll be very competitive and very challenging on, on their facility, which has hosted the NCAA prelim before. Um, as well as that, we're, we're sending Tom to the Texas Relays to qualify for the national championships. Penn Relays is always exciting for anybody in track and field. And, and, and finally, um, the NEC championships on, on our home turf are gonna, is, is going is to be great for everybody.